Om Shanti. Welcome to 20th of December's Godly Blessing. Supreme Father says that you can change your fortune even if you are physically having a karma bhoga. And you can change your sufferings by using karma yoga. So God says, may you become fortunate by transforming any suffering of karma, which comes in a physical form, in health, into karma yoga and become an instrument for doing service. Do not feel that your karmic accounts are obstructing your attainment on your path of making effort. If you're physically ill, you're not able to, I, I won't be able to do uh, murli sessions or I won't be able to do meditation because I'm ill. No. Do not let your body prevent you from doing service. Fortunate souls become instruments for one or another type of service, even at a time of suffering of the karma. That means they are able to do either service through their thoughts by giving good wishes, powerful thoughts to people who are going for seva service or to even those people who are against you, giving them good wishes. And that is also counted as seva. And sometimes if you're not able to do something with your physical body, then you can do it with your mind through these powerful thoughts, pure thoughts, and also through your wealth. Whether the suffering of karma is little or large, do not expand its story. Do not tell people about it. See, I'm suffering from this, I've got this, and I've got that. No. If you expand it, then what are you doing? To speak about it means to waste your time and energy. A yogi life means to transform any suffering of karma into karma yoga. That means, if there's suffering going on, you convert it. You say, wow, I'm going through all this because I'm becoming purer. I'm going through all this because God wants to, me to become powerful. And this is a sign of being fortunate to learn how to do this, how to have that power, how to have that energy, from whom to get that power is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti with this.